Well, starting out with neutral gain shot, you know what that means. So, as per usual, we'll pull the camera up, and yeah, neutral guy here is, if anything, furthest from the um, base design. He has the same color layout, but I've kind of added more silver, brought it up from the feet. So he now has it on his um, shins and shoulders as well, just for the sake of it. Uh, the hook is the only weapon to use an entirely different piece. But we'll get there when we get there, because first things first, uh, let's cover the articulation for this guy. Uh, so, head, obviously still in the ball joint. Full uh, range of motion there. The only downside is this chest, that wasn't remotely in camera, head on ball joint, as you can see. Chest, slightly wibbly. Couldn't really figure out a fix for that. Yeah, well, no big deal. Uh, we have a higher up ball joint than the other two, which yeah, still looks good, I'd say. Coming down to my favorite piece, the Hodika arm. Shoulders are on a double ball joint, just uh, well, because I like, because I like how that joint set it looks, basically. I need to pull it out slightly to get the full range, but uh, yeah, that feels about right for this guy. Push it in slightly just for the sake of it. Um, yeah, so you got range there is good, full that. Good range of butterfly, good distance back. This guy also a little bit dusty, he also lives on the windowsill. So, um, arms then, yeah, they're about what you expect. I made the hand silver rather than black, just because, like, again, I wanted a little more silver on this guy. Lower arms, eh, nice and simple. A little bit longer than uh, to a good guy, because I didn't want to... I basically didn't want to recycle any of the same silver assemblies, which meant doing something custom for him. Uh, legs then, upper legs, fairly, uh, fairly standard CCBS for the uppers. Because, again, no repeat silver assemblies. Uh, lower leg is all built around... The Buraki armor piece here. Feet, I end up going with Metru. Just, well, mostly because they're the other G1 feet that are available in the right shade of silver. So, I have that possibility. Weapon wise, he is armed with a big hook. And, yeah, to bring in good guy and compare, or bring in neutral guy and compare. It's quite a bit bigger, as you can see, but it keeps the same eh, approximate shape. I couldn't really figure out where to get the piston detailing in, but you know, it is what it is. I'm sorry, it's, uh, I need a moment here to do this. Pop that off. Anyway, so I'm pretty sure that, um, yeah, neutral guy can, in fact, ride neutral guy like a backpack. So. I'm just going to do the rest of the yeah, the rest of this segment like this, <laughs> because why not? Anyway, so, yeah, that about uh, covers things up, and it was originally longer. There was another one of, like, this whole segment up here, but that just felt too big and didn't really pose very well. Uh, so then, bringing in some familiar faces for a size comparison. Let's just get in posed first, and there's something just a nice neutral hook-holding pose. Fittingly enough, we have good guy and bad guy. And these two together are kind of right at the limit of what my uh, dice tray here can hold. So, oh yeah, we also have good guy and bad guy. And let's just uh, end this Tom Foolishness. Lower the staff so that. Um, his face is visible. And here we have then all three guys. They they look pretty good together. About the same level as good as like their three smaller counterparts, really. I like how this look turned out. Let's quickly put the hook back in there. Put the usual guy at the front here and yep. Get everyone shot. So, now that I've covered the guys and the big guys, next up is the rest of Good Guys Tower Team. So we'll see you for that next week.